Hi, I'm Karmi Shammas. I'm your astrologer. Today I'll be talking about Saturday, the 22nd of uh, April. Today the moon is in Taurus till 10, 10 a.m. Universal Time. After that, it moves to Gemini. If you're watching me from the Americas, the moon will be in Gemini all day long. How's it going to be for all signs, starting with Aries? It should be a beautiful day, whether the moon is in Taurus or in Gemini. It should be a great, beautiful um, act and very efficient the rewarding day especially if you were born on the 14th 15th of april moving to taurus it's a beautiful day you catch the moon in taurus then the moon moves to um gemini so in both cases especially when the moon is in your sign it should be a very um invigorating day it's like taking a, a a vitamin you know something like that or uh, you feel so much beautiful energy so i think you should enjoy this beautiful gorgeous day moving to gemini the the day is kind of a little bit slow uh, as long as the moon is in Taurus, but as soon as the moon moves to Gemini, your sign, everything will turn out to be super beautiful and super um, rewarding. So make sure that if you have something important to do, make sure that you wait for the moon to reach your sign. You can be very lucky if you were born on the 3rd or 4th of um, of June, or maybe also if you were if you were born in the uh, in May. Okay, uh, let's move now to Taurus uh, to uh, to Cancer. Cancer, try to catch the moon in Taurus to get things done uh, the way you want. When the moon moves to Gemini, everything slows down, and you may feel a little bit kind of frustrated or kind of everything falls down, kind of uh, energy wise. So try to be a little bit uh, more active before that, and then just try to spend a beautiful calm weekend be extra careful if you were born on the 7th 8th of july that's planet mars near your birth date moving to leo leo this is a nice day things may be a little bit tough when you wake up in the morning but then the moon moves to gemini and things get easier and that's when everything starts to fall into place so try to um plan accordingly there will be a lot of energy and there will be a lot of cooperation with you so don't worry everything will be quite fine moving to virgo virgo this is a fine day it was very nice in the past two days things got better actually and then you wake up in the morning early hours of the morning should be fine and then the moon moves to a square with your sign from the highest point in your sky so this means that maybe there's a kind of a confrontation or maybe there is some kind of a, a reaction something is uh, bugging you so try to be as calm as possible as wise as possible um, the sun which is now currently in taurus will help you <laughs> hi lala <laughs> hi lala okay so will help you and will make things fall into place don't uh, create a problem where it's not necessary even if it's necessary just try to ignore it moving to libra it's a nice day the moon in um, gemini will help a lot it will give you a lot of energy there will be a trine between the between your sign between the moon and also between um uh pluto so this is going to be a very invigorating day very um uh, positive, very strong, very powerful, and you're going to enjoy it. Moving to Scorpio, Scorpio, try not to, um, <clears throat> not to create something big. Uh, everything was kind of um, uh, exaggerated, you know, was exaggerated when the moon was in your uh, in Taurus along with the sun. So Thursday and Friday were not easy. Uh, today you have a chance to sort things out. So try to be wise. Don't fall into the trap of um, of uh, being challenged. Okay, and don't challenge challenge anyone. Okay. Hi, this is. Lala, <laughs> hi Lala. <laughs> she likes to be in movies. She likes to, every time I uh, I film, I tape. She is in someone's uh, <laughs> someone's sign. Okay, she likes that. Okay, uh, let's move now to uh, Sagittarius. Um, it's fine. It's a fine day. It's a busy day, definitely. Of course, maybe you're on vacation. Maybe it's a holiday. Whatever it is, try to leave the very routine, very <clears throat> easy stuff. Uh, for the moon in Gemini because the moon in Gemini is kind of uh, 
excuse me uh, <clears throat> pushes some buttons that's all so you don't want to fall into that um be as calm as possible try to listen um don't um don't uh, exaggerate things and don't uh, I don't want you to fall into the challenge if someone actually um, rings a bell or if someone pushes a button this is the whole point let's move now to Capricorn I love this day I love the sun in Taurus for you I loved it when the sun the moon was in Taurus on Thursday and Friday so don't ruin it move with it flow with it you actually still have great energy the sun is in Taurus so everything should be beautiful it's it's nice it's like the it was winter time and now it's summer it's summertime or even the it's springtime really it's springtime for you so enjoy uh, every beautiful moment even if it rains if you catch the rain you know sometimes it's fine it's just a let's say it's a summer cloud okay let's move now to aquarius aquarius uh, okay, so it was tough, I know. Now the, everything started to get a little bit more com more complicated with the sun in Taurus. More, you, It seems that there are more issues to deal with, to be dealt with. But today there's uh, a nice surprise, a nice help for you. It's the moon in Gemini. So everything's going to be beautiful. Don't ruin it. Saturday night will be fine. And Sunday also will be fine. As for Pisces, Pisces, I like it. The energy now is beautiful. The sun in Taurus is very helpful. It's very easy and um, quite efficient. So probably you feel energetic now. Thursday and Friday, it was quite energetic and you still have this push. Um, but don't try to take it on your uh, loved ones when you feel something is wrong. Maybe it's you have so much energy, you want everything to be perfect because you know you can. But if you depend on others and those others fail you, don't blame them. It's just like you are the one who has uh, the most energy. So try to be patient with them. Let's um, wrap it up with Born on the 22nd. Uh, this should be a beautiful year, very rewarding, very, you should anticipate this, this year. Why? Because something, it's Jupiter actually, is going to knock on your door between May and June, and you should have a big reward. Everything should be beautiful. There are things that will um, uh, surprise you, you know. Uh, if you go back 12 years back, something big, beautiful happened in your life. Something big is also going to knock on your door a big opportunity, positive opportunity is waiting for you. So plan ahead and be wise. Wishing you all the best. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye-bye.